what's going on guys I got about one hour and a half before I got to head to the airport so last fishing trip for sure out here small split shot small size 26 hook this is the rod reel and setup I used yesterday in those tide pools we are not on the tide pools today so we're just gonna fish here I got a lot of really small bites in this area the last several days when I fished so maybe with the smaller hook we'll be able to hook up with some more fish it is dead low tide right now so water super super low don't know what kind of fish are out there, but let's hope that we can get some new ones. All right, here we go. Super, super small piece of shrimp. Actually, it may even be a little bit too small. We'll try it with this, and if I get nothing, I'll put on a little bit bigger piece. But we're gonna kind of free float this here close to shore and see if there's any fish kind of hanging out among these rocks, among those seaweed type things. Oh, at low tide, I just had a bite. Okay, didn't hook up with it though, so let's cast down in the same spot. Got one. Come on up here, what is it? Little juvenile opali, first fish of the day. Yeah, so for sure one of the more common fish in these waters. First one of the day, a nice little juvenile opali. All right, clearly this spot is different than the spot we started in. I had two hits over there, but not much going on. So we came over to this kind of backside where there was a boat launch. And I saw some small fish hanging out. We made a cast, got ourselves a first opali. Let's see what else we got down there. There we go. Little guy, oh, what is this? New species. What? Some sort of a goby. So coming back here and using these small hooks has paid off. It is some sort of a goby. I don't know what kind though, but definitely a new species for the life list, new species for the trip. I don't have my photo tank with me, so I'll take some pics and try to get a good idea on this later, but this is an awesome little catch. Got him. Ooh, something different. All right, so this is a third species for the day. This is some sort of a blanny. I don't know if the same species that I caught yesterday, because I caught two of these yesterday, but I think and I hope, well, I don't think, I definitely hope though. I do hope that this is a different species of blanny. So I'm getting tons of bites over here. I'm just unable to hook up with them. I've gone through, I think, two full pieces of shrimp just to catch those three little fish. So there's some different fish down there. Caught three different species. They're just very, very small. So even on this small size 26 hook, it is a little bit tough to get the hook in their mouth. Here we go, fish on. Something new for the day. Some sort of a bass. I think one of those little kelp bass we caught a couple days ago. All right, this is a tiny guy, but I believe this is one of those kelp bass that I caught many of over the last several days. Actually, I've probably caught more of these than just about any other species on my trip so far. That's a nice fish. Biggest one of the day. Don't know what it is, and it's off. Ah, 
he broke my line. Don't know what that was, but that was the biggest fish of the day, that is for sure. Got him. What do we got? Oh, another one of those blannies. All right, I believe this is the same type of blanny that we caught earlier today, so I don't think it's gonna be a new species, but still love catching some fish. So let's get this guy back, and I'll try to get one more. Still got a little bit of time before I gotta go. Here we go. <laughs> Bigger than most of the ones I've caught today. Nice little opal eye. I think we're gonna call it on this one. Of course, not counting the fish we lost, I think this is the biggest one of the day. But I mean, when we're micro fishing, it's kind of what we're going for. But this might be my favorite species that I've caught on this trip so far. I like the color, I like the shape, and the blue eyes. I don't know if it comes out well on camera, but they got these really bright, dark blue eyes that looks really really beautiful so i think we're going to call it on this one so we'll let this one go and i'll be back with a quick wrap up got one. Oh yes so i made one more cast and we got a goby yeah, so last cast never means last cast. I was going to finish on that opali, made one more, and we got this goby. I think it's the same one we caught earlier. Not really sure, but I'll identify it later. And even though we caught one earlier, this species is a new species for the life list. Because I've never caught these before until today. So I think this is going to do it. We'll get this guy off the hook, and then I will be back with a quick wrap-up. Never say last cast, because we just got another opali, and the biggest one of the day. Nice fish. Yeah, so once again, made one more cast, got another opali. This might be my PB, I might have caught a bigger one on day one, but I don't know for sure. But for sure now, we are calling it a day, because I've really, really got to go, I don't want to miss my flight. I gotta hurry up and get back to the hotel so I don't miss my flight. But not a bad day. Got at least one new species in that uh, goby. Hopefully two new species in that blandy. Caught a couple opali, which I really like. They look really cool. And even though this trip was kind of last minute put together this morning, a little rushed, still a great day out here on the water. So San Diego was treating me very well these last four days. Wish I had a little bit more time to fish. Think I have eight or nine new species for the life list. So my goal was 10 when I got here, so I didn't meet, uh, meet that goal, but still not bad. I'm happy with the trip. Now I just got to get back out here sometime in the future because I love it here. And I, there's a whole bunch of different species I still got to catch. So hope you guys like this little four episode San Diego series and I will see you next time.